Hey guys, welcome back to Comageddon. I'm Shannon, and this week we're going to be taking a look at the legendary Green Lion from Voltron Legendary Defender, which will be coming back to Netflix with season three in hey August. Guys, welcome to Comageddon. If you're new, make sure you hit a subscribe button and a little bell. Comment below, hit the like button, and maybe even share with your friends. Uh, I... <laughs> So with that being said, let's go ahead and move this guy out of the way and take a look at the packaging. So as you can see, I did already open it. You got Voltron here, Voltron DreamWorks, Voltron Legendary Defender, Fire Vine Beam. And it does show that he, the green line does make up the left arm of Voltron. Uh, warning, choking hazard, small parts, not for children under three years old. Uh, now streaming on Netflix, this is from Playmates Toys. Take a look at the back here. Fire Vine Beam. Includes Speeder with Pilot Pidge. Collect Green Lion and Red Lion to form Voltron Sword. Form 16 inch Voltron. Combine all five lines. Currently I do have three out of the five lines. I'm just waiting to get the blue line and the yellow line. It's been really hard tracking these guys down. They did finally um mass produce quite a few of them so they're a little bit easier to get now uh i'm thinking in the next couple weeks i'll be getting the uh, last two lions and he does come in a window packaging with a partial clamshell type deal and then you've got the instruction book and the little mini catalog here Let's see what's all in here this of course is Playmates Wave 1, so Wave 2 will be coming out this fall. Got the black line here, red line, blue line, yellow line, and green line. You got the electronic form transforming sword with 15 plus phrases and sound effects. Uh, you got the Defender Gear, Voltron Defender Gear, and Red Line Defender Gear. Uh, you've also got the Ultimate Voltron, which you can see right there in the background. And then you've got the basic action figures. And then here you've got the instructions. I'm not going to go over because I'm going to be doing it firsthand for you guys. So, first things first, let's take a look at the sword. Nice little sword here. Half of the sword. The other half of the sword came with the red lion. As you can see, I got both halves here. It's kind of it's kind of squeezed together a little bit right here. So, but it's still not hard to connect it. It just snaps together just like that. Now the first time I had to uh, put it together, I had to actually use uh, snap it with this part first and start sliding it down so that that could uh, come out a little bit further. Now let's go ahead and go over the green line here. And they do make stickers for these now. Uh, I just saw on Caveman Reviews, for those of you who are familiar with Caveman Reviews, uh, he just did a review on the new stickers that you can chrome out all the gray parts of the lions. And even the black line, now you have the opportunity to uh, put the original uh, chest uh, design on the black line now for Voltron, which has the cross and the multicolors. Very cool. I thought that was really awesome. Uh, I'm going to have to invest in them. They do range from $5 up to like 20 to 30 bucks, I believe. I will put the link for his video in the description so you can check those out. It looks really awesome. Um, like I said, I'm definitely going to have to get some. Uh, it'll have to be a gradual thing because they are pretty pricey. But let's take a look at this guy now. We've got the Green Lion Pidge. 
He does have spring action on his mouth. He's got the yellow eyes. Let's go ahead and bring him down just a little bit so you guys can see. Got the blue here on the sides of the face. Yellow eyes with the black outline. And then kind of silver inside the ears. As you guys can see, he does have ratchet joints. Nice gray detail. Nice gray paint job. Not bad. The green is really nice. It's kind of a darker green than I like. My favorite color is green, but it, my favorite color is more of a slime green. Um, this is an okay green. It could have been a little bit brighter, but not bad. They got kind of a silver here on the uh, cannon. Got the shield here. I kind of wish that they would have made it to where uh, the black line, when you detach the wings, would transform into the uh, Voltron shield, like in the series. But uh, it's all right. Let's take a look at the blaster, the action. Not bad. Does shoot pretty far. And it just snaps off. However, it is already starting to kind of rub away here whenever you snap it on and off. So let's go ahead and it's just green and silver. Not bad. Now let's, since he's in his lion mode, let's go ahead and just put the shield up here for now. That's where it goes when he's in lion mode. So let's take a look at articulation. All right, his head does turn all the way around and it is on kind of a ratchet, ratchet, sorry. Like I said, there is spring action on his jaw. Paint job could have been a little bit better. There's a little bit of fuzziness around the snout. Not sure how well you guys can see, tell that. It's not super noticeable, but for a keen eye, you know, you'll, you want sharp edges. You got the, uh, waist action kind of a ratchet joint does spin around and that's mainly for the arm action uh, his tail or since pidge is a her should say her tail does go in and out paws go they can go all the way around however you push them up too much and let's bring this back up. Sorry guys, I'm trying to find the right angle for this camera and it's just really hard to do. Uh, but you bring them up too much and the back will pop up. You got ratchet on the uh, leg joint got a ratchet on the paw not bad and then on the back ratchet all the way around ratchet at the knee at the secondary the high knee and at uh, no ratchet at the jaw just regular uh, I mean, I guess it, it's not a ratchet. It kind of is, but it doesn't really make the ratchet sound. It's a softer plastic than the rest of it. And as usual, I've seen a lot of times people pose their lions like that. I don't know about you guys, but I've never really seen any kind of a cat really stand like that. It's usually this part here goes forward and then the top knee comes back, front knee goes forward. And that's so you got, they got that pouncing action. Uh, 
you know, so that they can run the way they do. You know, that's how I pose them. So now, <clears throat> let's go ahead and talk about transforming this guy. So, There he is in flight mode. All right, so let's go ahead and take the shield off. Oops. Bring this part up. Kind of difficult, but once you get it, you know. There we go. Ah. I have to say the arms are probably the most difficult to uh, work with. Then the legs. fold up like that and so you can see from the other side just like that bring it around tuck the tail in bring the shield it moves back to here And then this peg right here. Comes out. Um, let's see. I don't know if I like the shield being right there though. Because then the legs can't go all the way like they're supposed to. It should come all the way up like this. So let's go ahead and just, we'll attach the shield to back to his back right there. All right, now <clears throat> I should have done this beforehand. So let's go ahead and put him back into regular lion mode real quick. And we'll compare him with the red line. So there he is next to the red line. And as you guys can see, he is roughly the same size. Something else I forgot to mention is he did come with Pidge's little uh, little uh, vehicle thingy. It is a softer rubbery plastic. Um, I would be careful though, because don't bend it too much because I, it does look like this back end could break off of it. Um, not a bad paint job. You got the black, you got the blue uh, window. And you got the green and it doesn't look like there's sorry it doesn't look like there's anybody in the uh, cockpit though i think they could have kind of maybe done a little bit better and put one of the uh, put pidge in the uh, cockpit but that's just me and he just slides in just like that snaps up now let's go ahead and compare them to the green or to the black line the black line is massive the black line just towers over both the uh, red and green lines
if you like this video, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the like, comment below, and share with your friends. <laughs> I hate you.